What's going on, Tap Tap Auto? How's everybody doing out there? It's the boy, Dirty Boy. Well, to get out here this morning and stuff like that, and the lady that is trying to get all the blight ordinance and stuff like that stopped right there in the middle of this busy road. Actually, it's actually pretty calm this morning, which is kind of weird. Stopped right there long enough to take a picture of this do not stop to ask me about it do not stop to ask me anything like uh, I don't know there's a family that owns this they can't afford $1,100 bill at the mechanic shop and they need a car to get fixed it you know and I know she's gonna be lying she'll be oh this car been sitting here for two months yeah anyways guys I'm about done with this damn place Anybody getting a place out in the country, renting this house out and tell them to stick it. Yeah. But, anyways, we got to get back on this thing, guys. The people need their vehicle. I was going to get it done last night, but we supposed to have had a uh, um, snowstorm, but it didn't come in good. Look at this stupid shit, guys. That's where the battery goes. Now, I couldn't film taking all this stuff out yesterday because it was snowing and blowing, and I needed to get this stuff out for the core. So, yeah, that's where your battery goes in this car. What a dumbass fucking place to put a battery. And then the alternator. That is my diagnosis of this car. At first, I thought it was the EGR and stuff that I showed y'all down here. But uh, further inspection and stuff like that, it's more towards the alternator and went ahead and changed the battery because the battery was pretty far old. Um, I think it was like three or four years old. And it was a uh, never last. So, went ahead and just swapped the whole kit and caboodle out. Now when I hooked my truck up to this, everything started working perfect. So, that's why I am just deciding to change it everything. And another thing of it is, this thing had the wrong battery in it. Um, some of these vehicles actually get pretty particular on uh, which batteries you put in them. So, out here. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I can understand stuff like that if I had a car out here for, I don't know, two, three weeks. Sitting out in my yard, all stripped down, tore apart. This thing is not literally going to be sitting here for one day when I'm done. One day. Not one day a night. One day. If you actually had it up, torn apart. And it would have been done yesterday, but hey, I cannot predict the weather. But it will be done this morning. Now we gotta go out Terry's and hook up some uh, pipes. Uh, I think what's funny about the whole thing is she admitted having a business at her house and straight tells me that I can't have one at mine. Now, I don't have one at mine. I just do little things like this because there's no sense dragging this stuff halfway across the county nothing but an alternator and a battery okay this ain't actually pretty easy guys got uh the alternator is easy. The battery sucks at ass. I, the battery is way hotter than the alternator. The alternator, all it is, is just two 15 millimeter bolts on the bottom. That's it. Nothing goes on top. No brackets on top. At least if there is, there ain't none on this one. Port more positive. This right here is our problem. Well, let's say it took and uh, hooked up old Holly Berry up to it, and 
It was like to run like a rave tape, and then when it unplugged the scanner, it uh, or unplugged the jumper cables from the truck, it immediately said low voltage. I tell you what, guys, these gloves suck. I mean, these gloves here, these mechanic gloves, they suck. I mean, it just ain't worth a shit for nothing. Better off just buying the cheap ones, guys. Better off just buying the cheap ones. I think these mechanics gloves lasted a week. And for 20 bucks, the hell with it. I didn't buy these gloves ever a gift. My girl got them for me. But, uh, yeah, they're just a shitty made glove. Yeah, and the same thing of it is, guys, is technically there's no mechanic shops around here. Um, there is a mechanic shop behind the Jiffy Lube that is actually illegal to have back there. They have no business sign. They have no nothing. But the Jiffy Lube here is messed up so bad that they're pretty much going bankrupt. They have no money to, to spend. So they uh, decided to make a storage building in the back of this Jiffy Lube, a mechanic shop. There is no certified mechanics. Um, I heard that you wouldn't want to get your lawnmower work there. I've actually had a couple of the cars come here um, that they've messed up. And like I say, it's not even supposed to be a mechanic shop. It's a Jiffy Lube. And they're in there with all them... Um, the old oil and everything else running a torch near a used oil tank. But the village here don't care about that. Why? Because the guy pays the village off. He gives the village a little extra money on the side and they leave him alone. That's how it works here. Same thing with a place called Northern Auto here. Man, I've you wouldn't believe how many cars I've got of theirs. They're just, it's garbage. And same thing with them. What they do, and I actually have two vehicles um, that I can have access to that they did this to. One vehicle put uh, um, upper and lower ball joints on it, like completely redid the whole front end. And uh, y'all guys seen me work. Y'all guys know how I am about how picky shit's got to be to be perfect. And um, I got done with this truck and uh, told him to go down there at Northern Auto and get a line. So he goes down there and gets the line, right? They tell him, oh, you're, uh, you need upper ball joints. And you know, he's like, well, wait a minute. I just replaced these upper ball joints. And they're like, oh, well, you need to get them replaced. They need to be replaced. Gave him an estimate on how much. So he brings it back here and stuff like that and I check it out. And what they do is the top of the ball joint where the rubber, uh, the top the top ball joint, the rubber um, sleeve that goes over the ball joint to keep the grease, they cut those. And uh, that's when they bring you in and be like, hey, you need uh, this. And they, uh, yeah, they cut them. Yeah. No shit. It also happened to a uh, Ford Mustang. Same thing happened to that, guys. You'll get a, oh, there's a fifth lug nut. Got to go get a 13 millimeter. And the same thing with that, guys. Um, the guy and stuff had, uh, I think he had brand new upper ball joints done to it. Drove it up there to get it aligned. And the same damn thing, guys. Um, I didn't know my tools were sitting, or that rash was sitting in the water. But yeah, same damn thing, guys. Um, he took and, uh, he took and, uh, brung it here and everything. And I looked up underneath it, and I'd be damned if it wasn't the same damn thing. Um, they took and cut 
the upper ball joint uh, uh, sleeve that holds the grease. Try to talk and look for something at the same time here. Kind of going brain dead, guys. But yeah, they cut the. Uh, so there's no mechanic shops around here. Um, there's another guy and stuff. I think he's uh, um, Corey's Garage. Now, I never really heard nothing about Corey's Garage. The only thing that uh, I ever had a problem with Corey's Garage was um, he put way too much silicone. And that's what the, this is what the people told me the truck came from. But he put way too much silicone on a thermostat housing and it just leaked. And the thing of it is, he wouldn't fix it. Um, as far as I know, and another thing is he's extremely expensive. I'm talking about like mechanic shop expensive. Alright, that just takes that guys. Put this on there. This right here guys is really self-explanatory. The only thing really should make sure that uh make sure you just didn't do it me have enough room to pick your damn fire here. That's kind of weird how they got that. Another thing is the pain in the ass on these things, guys, is a serpentine belt. You can't get a damn serpentine belt down inside there for some reason. I have one, and for some damn reason, it just, uh, it won't go down between the damn uh, motor and the, uh, the frame of the car. And then I looked, and the frame of the car is in the way, so yeah, I don't exactly know how they expect you to get uh, to that boat. So we're going to try it a little different way, and then uh, go from there. Like that, guys. All right, it's nice and good. All right, let's see here. Really hoping it's nothing serpentine though. Just flops this ass right back on here. Yeah, I'd have to say the serpentine belt on this thing, guys. So, we really, really suck. Now, we are going to try to use a tire spoon. I don't want to ruin the belt. There's just no room. I see the frame right in the way. Uh. Hmm. Damn, these gloves suck. Goddamn junk. Freight spoon. That's worth the money right there, guys. All right. Uh -oh. That damn power steering pulley always has to be a big sham. They get a long screwdriver.
Okay, guys, had to get a long screwdriver. The alt or the uh, damn um, bottom air conditioner. The belt's not on the bottom air conditioner all the way. Dodge is different than Mopar, guys. I was watching a uh, watching a show last night. Um, actually, it was uh, the Goon Squad channel. Y'all don't know them, guys? I was actually watching them, and they were talking about, oh, well, we went to the Mopar place and got parts. Goon Squad, let me tell you something. There hasn't been a Mopar dealership since, what, the 70s, guys? Or when did it, oh, I think it was the 80s. It was the 80s when they turned into Daimler Chrysler, wasn't it? So, yeah. You didn't get the parts from a Mopar dealership. You didn't even get the parts from a Daimler Chrysler dealership. You got the parts from a Fiat dealership. Goon Squad, just giving you a little education about the vehicles that you're working on. And you know, I never knew guys and stuff like that how Fiat got so much money to buy Dotmer Chrysler. You know, I, have, uh, I know a little bit of history about, uh, you know, certain vehicles. But really never fiat, you know, I don't think anybody has ever uh, cared of the history of fiat. So, um, I watched that movie, Ford vs. Ferrari. Man, that is a good movie, guys. Y'all gotta see that. And I'd be damned how fiat got their money as Ferrari went bankrupt. Fiat had a little change in her pocket. Because that's probably about the first year they made their most money off their little shit cars. And bought out Ferrari because Ferrari went bankrupt. And that's how Fiat got their name. Man, what the fuck? Way too hard to put a damn serpentine belt on. How much does this thing cost in the shop, guys? Put this damn serpentine belt on. About 100 bucks. I'd be guessing. Slide the belt onto this. Pulley here. This is not a groove pulley. So I just slide his ass back on. Alright guys. That is perfect. That is way too fucking hard. Way too fucking hard. Okay. Now we got the battery. Basically, I do this stuff for the people that don't have no money to afford a shop to do this stuff. And people just don't understand, especially rich people that only work one day a week and have a brand new vehicle to drive. They don't understand how it is to be out here struggling. You know, they don't care. It's like the one lady up there 
Just bought a brand new Chevy. I think it's a Chevy Cruze. Brand new. All right, guys. Look at this shit here. We gotta get that fucking battery back in that hole. What a fucking nightmare, man. That is the stupidest design of any car manufacturer, bar none. I don't give a shit. Bar none, that is the stupidest fucking place to put a battery. Oh, shit. Alright, guys. I'm gonna go get this. Put this stuff up and go get a floor jack real quick. Ain't gonna take me two minutes. On up to the east side. Oh, I hate this fucking jack. Come on, Jack. Fucking red dog jack ain't worth a fuck. Ain't seriously. The most shittiest jack you can fucking buy is a red dog jack. Pure fucking garbage, guys. Pure garbage. Absolutely pure fucking garbage. people on this damn YouTube gets brand new shit that car wizard go check out his channel he just got a regular mechanic shop you know I'm imagining he's got more knowledge in his little pinky than I do in my entire hand so he can afford brand new lifts he can afford stuff for his shop that he needs he's got the credit for it you know he's working on Lamborghinis, Maseratis, BMWs, some of them, you know, he's, uh, he doesn't need no help, you know, he's got it, and then, uh, I think it was his last episode, I watched, Bandpack donated brand new lifts to his shop, why? What makes him so special? Now, I understand he did go into the military, and he did, uh, you know, he did um, serve this country. You know, hats off to him for that. I really do. But, that still doesn't seem the fact that he's got money. You know, his wife drives a Land Rover. 
You know, I'm not saying they got money falling out their ass, but they have money. So, why can't that lift go to somebody that needs it? Like, you know, I'd say I'd need it if I had a shop. Sorry guys, I had to go get a screwdriver. How y'all doing a VLC? Yeah, we're fine. <sighs> but yeah. And a lot of people's like, well why don't you get a shop up here? Because everybody up here wants to use their shit for boat storage. And then when you do find a shop, the rent is so ungodly high that they can't afford it. Alright guys, let me see if I can't uh See if we can't get y'all a good spot here. Sorry about this guys, but y'all do know that having a computer problem right now with uh, with things and hoping here pretty soon I have that other laptop. And uh There we go, guys. How's that? Now y'all can get in here with me. This is a stupid fucking light of battery. Alright, okay. Wow. What the fuck, dog? I mean, what the fuck? What the fuck? I don't get it. Why? What is the fucking point of this, Dodge? Just tell me, what is the point of this? I mean, I just don't fucking get it. I am not going to cut this handle, by the way, because I have some batteries that I could put that handle on. Okay. Because this right here is not going to go on with the battery in there because of this fucking thing. Okay, I'm just going to try to set the battery in there and then put the post on. If your ass, if your battery quits working on you, and you and your family is traveling, does fucking Chrysler really expect you to be doing this shit on the middle of the fucking interstate or some damn town you don't know? Hang on, man, guys. I got to come over here. It's actually kind of dangerous, guys, the way they got this shit. 
Oh, he is. Maybe I can see a little spark exit there. Maybe I can see anything with my big ass head in the way. Unplug the battery saver. to give a shout out to old Scotty Kilmer on the Scotty Kilmer channel. Sure do like to sure do thank you about the heads up on that uh, memory saber on Amazon. That was pretty cool. I needed one. And it's kind of expensive when you go anywhere else. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. There's some vehicles that you damn sure want to have that thing on. They're almost done, guys. The battery was a hell of a lot easier putting back in than it was taking it out. Oh, I was hoping this goddamn thing stays fixed for a while. For the battery post and a, or a 10 for the span bracket and a 10 for the battery post a 13 for the bracket that's what i meant to say out these damn pot pans here. Yes, I bought new pot pans for this. There we go. Anything else? Okay, here we go. We are almost done, guys. Sit up there because it wants to be a dick. These things were fucking expensive, guys. I need to go on Amazon and uh, 
buy some of those too because those fuckers were five dollars a pack for uh four of them and that was a little expensive i'm gonna have to get on amazon like old scotty kilmer says we'll definitely buy some of these off of amazon But see how much better that looks than trying to find some bullshit to put in there? I'd rather spend five bucks to make it look right. Alright, So I got some of these others. Let's see how many's in here for a goddamn man. Damn packages. Guess what you paid for? Yeah. So we probably got about ten in here for five bucks of these type here. Oh yeah, perfect. 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 Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay, any fucking where else? I don't see any. All right, guys. We are good. Yeah. All right. We'll slap this fucking tire back on, guys. And I helped some people today. But now the woman could have her car back. And get her back stuff back to Fort to work to feed her family. Love it. Jeez, the one dude got their shit all greasy and everything. And I get this shit muddy as hell trying to get it in my yard. Right. Back y'all up here. There we go. Oh, gosh. Yep, that was my gas stand. It's like I would love to have a brand new floor jack. I can't afford one right now. But I would love to have... Hell, it doesn't have to be brand new as long as it's better than this piece of shit. This is that egg junk. And it won't even jack itself all the way up. I guess it barely does a job. I guess I can't complain. I could have nothing, right, guys? I had one jack. I don't know the fucking name of it. And I actually got that jack for uh, putting some shocks on the back of a van. And uh, not too bad of a job. And, uh, man, oh, what, rogue? What? You got Ruger back there, guys. What's going on, Rogues? What? What? <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to leave it here. The only thing I got to do is put this tire on. I'm going to, I guess seeing that I got like four minutes left on this battery. 
which I don't understand that because I let it charge all night. Should at least last an hour, and I know I haven't been out here that long. Well, no, I have been out here that long. I just wasn't recording that long. So, oh, I'm going to let y'all try to hang in there. But if my camera guys dies, apologize about that. We are just about done. Did get rid of the minivan last night, guys. Needed the bill money. So I just went ahead and pretty much just gave it away. I still did pretty good on it. I'm not, I didn't lose. That's one good thing. Did I make a profit that I should have? No. Not even close. But, I'm hoping that Zuzu makes up for that. to tighten these up in a minute. That's good enough to sit on the ground. All right, guys. Take you off here. Whew. All right, we got two minutes left. Two minutes, guys. Two minutes. Fingers crossed, guys. Ah, uh, like the check engine light's still on. Gonna have to check that out. Maybe clear some codes. But it did start, guys. Everything going good. All right, guys. Battery's about dead. I'm gonna leave it right here. I catch you on the flip side. Subscribe, thumbs up, share to your friends. I was trying to get a hundred uh, views last month or a hundred uh, subscribers last month. Didn't happen. I'm still going for this month to try to get a hundred subscribers at least. That's all I ask. So, all right, guys. Y'all guys have a good one. Catch you on the flip side later.